say fundraising. Um, so cash is getting available. Um, it's getting easier and easier. Uh, but you get the legacy effect, right? So companies that started one year, two years ago, I faced that issue. So now I think the problem is not so much more on the seed level, but more on the growth capital. The hardest thing is getting funding. Um, it's easy for you to start up with an idea and to come up with something um, because you have the passion for it. But once you want to take it to the next level, you need funds. It's the middle space where most people fall off. Because you have an idea, you've taken it to a certain startup level, concept level, now execution, you need money. Nobody's funding that. That's the biggest challenge being faced by startups in, uh, in Dubai and I think in the region. Fundraising. Fundraising and uh, WOM does cover that uh, beautifully today by doing a lot of sessions and introducing uh, entrepreneurs to different investors. So it is a big challenge that we hope to cover today. I think it's been said you know, over and over again, it is funding. So fundraising is the most difficult one, especially at the early stage. I think for the 10 million and then 20 million, for the 5, 10, 20 million, it's quite easy. You will be able to find money. But it's at this stage when your business is risky, where no one is actually willing to invest on you. Although it's a good idea, people think, no, 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 I don't want to be the first one. No, 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 I'm not going to put my money into this until I make sure that someone has actually, you know, made the bet and gone and tested this. The legal infrastructure, this is something I'm really struggling with. Um, how to build, you know, between the investment vehicles, the operation in each country, how to open Saudi Arabia, that kind of stuff. Um, I think it's probably something that is that is faced by a lot of entrepreneurs here. So, Clearly, the, the legal entity set up and all that is a little more complicated, but uh, I'm sure if you are a foreigner in the United States or somewhere else that wants to set up a business, it's likewise complicated. So I'm not a citizen of this country, so the fact that I can come here and establish a startup business, we can't expect it to be that, you know, that simple as doing it in our own country. Cost. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a bit costly, uh, which is especially in startups, even if if you're not funded, and uh, even if you are funded, it's, uh, it's a bit costly relative to uh, other places. Uh, and it's also the pool of talents that are based in Dubai is not, is not huge uh, enough, it's not diversified enough. So a lot of time you need to bring people outside of Dubai to Dubai and with the whole logistics and you know, visas and, and all of that. I think this is the main challenge challenges out here and you've got the logistics you know challenge and all the rest of it so you know a very small network here a very close community of people that are willing to help but I think as with any market it's you know it's tough being a startup and, and going through all those new challenges.